So you all are back with me, Professor Girish Kukreja, for today's uh, question answer sessions in microbiology. One of the common uh, biochemical characterization test which is used in classification of the organism, uh, differentiating the members of Enterobacteriaceae family is your sugar fermentation test. Yes, so without uh, wasting much time, uh, let us go to our first question which reads as name few acids which are formed during the fermentation of these sugars. A typical carbohydrate fermentation test or sugar fermentation test actually uh, the acids which are formed uh, it varies uh, from organism to organism depending on what inherent pathways these organisms they follow. Some of the most common acids which you can mention they include your formic acid, it includes your acetic acid, it includes uh, butric acid right so there are many uh, such you will find sometimes neutral products like ethanol uh, or other neutral products may also be formed but some of the most common acids that are formed include your formic acid, acetic acid and butric acid. Yes, we also do uh, check the presence or formation of the gas which may be carbon dioxide or hydrogen. Uh, so the next one goes what are the possible results uh, which you see when you are performing this particular test. So here you will find that in a particular tube there may be production of both acid as well as a gas which we detect by formation of bubbles in the inverted Durham's tube. So we generally represent it as A and G. So acid also positive, gas also positive. If the indicator that you have used has changed the color then it is what you call as positive for acid. If the Durham's tube is showing the uh, presence of air bubbles in it so yes it is positive for gas too. Sometimes there is production of acid only uh, where there is no formation of gas. So you may have a positive for acid and a negative for gas and some of them they are non-fermenters. So non-fermenters which are not uh, producing either acid nor gas. You may find that uh, the organism is growing in still in the medium because there are many other components in the medium. You have peptone and other uh, things which are present in the medium depending on the media, basal medium which you have used. Organism may utilize that as a source of carbon, nitrogen and energy and proliferate but uh, since it is not fermenting the added sugar there may be no production of this particular acid or uh, the production of this particular gas. What is the possible application or use of this particular test? As I told it is helpful in classification of the organism. So you may have a different what you call as sugars which can be tested glucose, lactose, maltose, uh, sometimes mannitol and a host of sugars which can give you a good data for comparing these particular organisms. So differentiating different members of enterobacteriaceae or in general for biochemical characterization for uh, enzyme systems for knowing these particular pathway you can use this particular test. So yes it is used for biochemical characterization and classification of uh, different groups of bacteria. Uh, name a few indicators used uh, for the test. To have a quick review, uh, you can see here it is already written here. One of the commonest indicators which we used is your Andrade's reagent. In a general laboratory, uh, in a, especially in an educational institute, most of the times you will find it is phenol red uh, which is used as an indicator. So phenol red as you can see, it shows a reddish to orangish color at a neutral pH, a pinkish to red at alkaline pH and when there is formation of acid, uh, when the pH falls below 6.8, it changes the color to yellow. So when you are preparing the medium, check the pH first, then add the indicator. So otherwise uh, you are checking off pH, there will be hindrance. So we generally check the pH before adding these indicators. You adjust the pH to a neutral form. Then you uh, go for what you call as other steps, addition of this particular indicator. So when you prepare this sterile medium, it would be red to orange in color. And once it is a positive result, it will give you a yellow color because under acidic pH, it gives a yellow coloration. If you are using bromothymol blue, it will be green at the neutral pH. If it changes to acidic, it would be yellow. And if it is going to alkaline, there will be formation of a deep blue color. Sometimes you will find if the acids are not being formed and the sugars are not being used, the peptone or tryptone or other components, they are being uh, what you call as um, degraded. So alkaline products are formed. So you will find, for example, if you are using bromocresol purple, uh, it will be deep purple at pH 7.4. It will turn yellow if there is formation of acid. And if, as I told, if there are some alkaline products which are formed, then it may again go for a purple coloration. And reds you can see, light pink at neutral pH, pinkish red at 5 and yellow or to colorless in your uh, what you call as alkaline pH range. 
so this is how uh, some of the questions we have discussed for sugar fermentation test yes stay tuned with us for more in microbiology thank you